Hey Aries, this is your March 2020 love reading. So for your energy, you have retreat here. And by the way, this is a different spread. Um, I announced on my Patreon that I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. So if you want to be more in the know with personal chats or exclusive video readings, go on over to my Patreon page. All the links are in the description box below. Okay, so Aries, for this month, there's going to be an energy of you wanting to pull back, you wanting to have some time to yourself with retreat here. And you were recently, or even right now, feeling very confused because you have the Seven of Cups reversed. And I feel like you were dealing with multiple people, but you narrowed down your option in a sense here but you're still feeling that sense of confusion and wanting to take a step back from a situation. And you have someone coming towards you very soon who's going to make their emotions known to you very soon. There's also a decision that you're going to have to make when this happens because you're showing up as the king of wands. So you're in your own element. You're feeling, you're feeling confident within yourself you're not showing up reversed. So even though you are feeling confused on some level, you're still remaining sens sensible and logical and down to earth. You're still kind of taking things in stride. This person is, they were feeling, okay, so they have the four of swords reversed, meaning there was a period where you did not hear from this person. There was a period where there was no communication happening. They were keeping some things like like on their chest they were not expressing themselves they may have even ghosted you for a few days or a few weeks because this energy is like you haven't heard from them for a while and all of a sudden they come back or they start opening up to you more okay and they have loved themselves first here they're going through something emotionally for some of you, you may have felt like this person was putting themselves above everyone else or ahead of your own feelings. For others of you, this person just had to go away for a little bit in order to heal themselves. And they're going to be expressing this to you. And I'm saying that also, Aries, because right next to this on how they feel about you is they have expressed their love here and they have your major arcana. So they're heavily thinking about you. They do want to move forward with you, but it's almost like as you take a step back, they're stepping towards you because I feel like it was reversed recently where you may have been taking a step forward to them and they took a step back and now you guys are like doing the opposite approach, but they're going to express to you what they've been recently going through, okay? And they do. They want to start something over with you or they want to start fresh with you because you have the fool here. They want to move forward with you, but there's a level of not being able to trust the other person because you have the seven of swords twice here. And I feel like there's a level of secrecy here that was contributing to the fact that they were being very tight-lipped about something with the four of swords here, kind of only thinking about themselves or what would be best for them. And that's kind of the vibe that you were getting off of them, right? So the outcome's interesting because even though they are going to move forward with you by establishing deeper communication and expressing themselves once and for all, there's a commitment here that is on the fence because you have wedding reversed and you have the ace of wands reversed. It's almost like someone is saying, time out, time out. Because you also have the Ten of Pentacles reversed here, which is a commitment, and children reversed here. So there's a huge emphasis on family, because you also have healing family issues reversed um, off to the side here. And the moon. Be careful of your family members getting in the way of or muddling or meddling in your relationships this month, Aries. That's a huge energy coming through, like everyone throwing their own opinion into the pot kind of thing and you having to really pay attention to what's right for you and not necessarily listen to everyone else's opinion about it. You're also going to be mending and trying to heal your own family issues here. And especially if you're already in a committed relationship with this person, it's almost like there's external people 
in this mix, like family members, siblings, parents, children. It's like they all have to say something about your relationship right now. Or you may be going to these people for advice because there's this level of uncertainty with the moon here. And Aries, if this is how you're feeling about this person, it's because they're being so tight-lipped. It's like, can I trust this person? It's interesting because even though there's so many Seven of Swords, which is about, you know, secrecy, lies, deception, I'm not seeing a third party here. I'm just not. It could be, Aries, that you just don't trust this person for whatever reason. It could also be that you don't trust, like, certain things that go on in their family, like a lot of drama goes on, or you just don't want to be super vulnerable right now in order to trust someone. Because there's someone here that wants to move forward with you in a very, very intense way, like a serious way, because there's marriage, there's commitment, there's engagement all across your spread. But it's like, can I trust this person? That's kind of how you're feeling about this. It may be going too fast for you. Because you have honeymoon and engagement off to the side here. And you have children and wedding and the Ten of Pentacles. That's like a marriage. So I'm going to split this up into two alternative scenarios that I'm seeing here. If you're completely single, be careful that you're not dealing with someone who is married or who has children that are still in the mix. And that could be like getting in the way of you deciding if you want to move forward with this person, kind of wondering if you can really, you know, be a part of this whole dynamic here. For others of you, you're about to like get into a very serious relationship with someone that seems to have at the very least some emotional baggage in terms of like their family and what they're going through with that. And you're dealing with a soulmate though, because you have the two of cups here and the lovers. So this is a very strong, deep, emotional connection, like a very real love that you have with this person. You also have the Queen of Earth, the Queen of Pentacles. So you're feeling very down to earth. You're feeling very realistic. Your head is not in the clouds. You're thinking very sensible, very logically about everything. And you're dealing with the challenges from this person or in this situation in a very like real way sensible understanding way but there is absolutely an issue with family dynamics here or a commitment in general this person may have children outside of your relationship or you share children with this person and for some reason that may be the um like the struggles that are going on right now in this in this month where you two are having to you know, come to a compromise or a decision with regards to the children in a marriage or in a commitment here, or the very idea of having children. You two may be at odds with that. For example, you may not want children and they do or vice versa. And I feel like this is pumping the brakes here because even though there's a lot of attraction with the Ace of Wands, it's reversed along with this commitment here. So there's going to be like a stalling when it comes to a commitment, like putting things on hold for the time being, like just temporarily, I feel, while you two heal these family issues. Because right now, it's very like muddled, like things are not clear with the moon here. Everything seems to be up in the air with this commitment or this decision. And again, with the... You have the Knight of Wands. That's your energy, Aries. Futility. You Okay, and the Four of Cups. You may feel like the situation right now is like at a standstill. Like you feel like it's futile or you feel like it's not emotionally um, fulfilling to you at this time. And even though you're dealing with a very deep soulmate connection, it's like you feel something's off emotionally. Again, I'm not seeing a third party. I'm not seeing cheating here. That's the weird thing. It's like there's just drama going on that you two have to sort out first. And it seems like it's external drama. People kind of getting in the way of everything. And someone's confused about how to move forward because you have the Ace of Swords reversed here. It's like things are absolutely not clear. And then you have the Seven of Wands. You're, you two are going to fight to be together though. You see how they're embraced? 
And the seven of wands is really about rising above everyone else, rising above the pettiness, rising above everyone else's opinions over whether or not you two should be together, for example. Someone's at a standstill emotionally or someone seems very cold because you have the king of swords here and you may be dealing with an air sign, Aries, sun, moon, or rising, or that's just how they're behaving this month. King of Swords is someone who's very logical, someone who can be very detached emotionally because they're figuring things out. They don't want to be vulnerable or this is the energy you're taking on, but I feel like it's the other person's energy. I also feel like the word stonewalling came through. So someone may be stonewalling the other person. Actually, what I'm getting is the other, the person you're dealing with may be stonewalling other people around them when it comes to you and your connection with them so not taking their advice and just doing what's right for them and you doing what's right for you but there's going to be again this kind of delay here within a commitment i did pull some extra cards clarifying the situation you have the seven of swords again again there's a standoff here so it's like there's a standoff right now, but you two do come back together or you two do decide to fight for this connection. Yeah, someone retreated. Someone needed some time by themselves with the hermit here. You may also be dealing with an earth sign. I'm getting air and earth. Queen of Wands is reversed. That's you, Aries. So because someone retreated or because you felt the need to retreat, because you couldn't trust something or someone, you feel upset about this. And you have judgment here. So a lot of you are going to be dealing with someone that comes back around, or you're going to have a conversation where things come to light and it makes a lot more sense, or things just get a lot more clear to you on how to move forward with this person. There's going to be a conversation here that's going to be like an aha moment where things are said that need to be said. So it clears up the confusion. I also feel like there's a divine aspect to this, like your angels are protecting you at this time when it comes to this, when it comes to the clarity coming through for you at this time, whether or not you should progress with this person. Again, I'm just seeing a lot of love. You have the two of cups. You have the lovers here. There's a choice though. The lovers symbolizes a choice that you have to make in this connection the soulmate connection and you're going to be feeling very realistic as the queen of uh pentacles here you're not going to let your emotions get in the way of what's right for you and like i said you end on honeymoon and engagement so what seems to be the problem is really this uncertainty within the family structure or you know, moving forward with regards to that part of it. But you also end on the Empress. So you're going to be feeling a lot more confident and a lot better towards the end of the month here. Again, for some of you, this may be a situation that involves a baby mama or like a mother figure that comes into the situation, whether it's, you know, your partner sharing children with the other person or an actual mother figure. It's almost like, okay, okay, I just got, I got the message. Some of you are dealing with like a mother-in-law from hell where they're just like getting in the way of the entire wedding planning or everything has to like go through the mother first. That's for a small percentage of you, but there is like this mother figure that's just in the way of everything. <laughs> Or you're having to go to your mother to ask her for advice and judgment, like a judgment call on this entire situation. And for others of you, this person sees you as the empress. This person, I feel, is really wanting to fight for this. But you may be the one that's retreating, like I said, because you need some time to think about it. It's like it's too much for you right now. So yeah, if you're completely single, there's honeymoon, engagement, and wedding, and family matters all across your spread here. So this may go very fast, or you may have talks about this with someone that you're dating. Again, this is a two of cups connection, and you're thinking to yourself, can I really trust this person? 
Or can I trust the entire situation to move forward? Do I want this? And that's how you're feeling this month. And you or the other person may take, you know, needing that quiet time to yourself as a red flag with the Seven of Swords. Like, what are they really doing? You know, who are they really talking to? That kind of thing. When in reality, they just need some time to think or some time to themselves. So again, Aries, families highlighted tremendously this month. Just stay true to you and what feels right for you. Because no one can really make those judgment calls for you or those romantic decisions for you. You're the one that has to live your life. No one else does. And do what makes you happy and do what's right for you. And also, you know, of course, taking into consideration everyone else, but not at the expense of completely derailing your life. Okay, that's what I'm seeing for your energy this month, Aries. I love you all so much. I'll talk to you next month. Bye-bye. People are seeing you as someone that they really want to be with. They're seeing you as that catch. And you're putting on this air of growth, prosperity, and also mystery. And they're going to be really wanting to capture your heart for that reason.